G'day, and welcome to Crane Blog, where we celebrate the everyday good deeds of ordinary people through the gifting of origami cranes. Um, today, um, well, my name's Sam. Um, today we're gonna talk about how to fold a crane. Uh, I've got a range of different um, papers here. These are seven centimeter squares, and these smaller ones are five centimeter squares. A five that are, I find that a five, six, or seven centimeter square works really well for gifting origami cranes because you can carry the the cranes quite neatly in a phone case uh, and i find that carrying them on my person makes them a lot easier to, to gift them in everyday situations um, where i uh yeah can, can have the, the the phones on my the phone on my person and the, the cranes on my person uh, excuse my tripping over my words um, we're going to get into it now uh, if you could um, ensure that you've got an exact square a perfect square you'll find that the the crane ends up more symmetrical and that it's a little bit easier to complete some of the folds and the other thing that i'd recommend is that you ensure that each fold is as precise and as crisp as possible uh, this also makes it easier to end up with a beautiful crane at the end of the day the first fold is to create a big triangle again ensuring a crisp fold the second fold is to create a second smaller triangle again as precise as you can with every fold this next one i like to pop my thumb in there find that works quite nicely and then we're going to fan that out into a square uh, if you didn't catch it the first time you can either replay the video or you can watch for this next bit because we're going to repeat that same fold if you flip it over we're then going to pop a thumb into here that little pocket there and then if you just press gently on the tip there you'll then find that you can flatten into another square so that'll give you then a little opening through here we're going to use that opening now to uh, this is probably the most difficult part. So if you can pay attention here, I reckon you'll find the rest of the crane a lot easier to fold. This outside edge that I've just traced with my thumb is destined for the inside of this, you could, I guess you could say flower formation. So the outside edge going into the inside of this flower. There you go. And the same down the bottom. Again, being as exact as possible with each fold will ensure a more symmetrical and, and beautiful crane towards the end. And then repeating that on the other side. Again, if you wish to um, go over some of the folds, you're welcome to pause, rewind and replay the video. Um, or else you can uh, just give it a crack and yeah and uh see how you go and not everything's going to be perfect the first time um i've uh, folded over 1000 cranes so it's a little bit easier after you do that um, but if this is your first one then i encourage you to be patient with yourself we're going to repeat the folds on the other side so um, that's how the uh, this fold finishes and then if we can open up that flap we're going to go take the outside edge into the middle once more and so you can then see if this is the outside edge it then ends up lining up in the middle of the flower formation I'm going to do that one more time and this is where you really get found out uh, if you don't have a perfect square um, it's uh, looks like we've lucked upon a perfect square with this blue one here it seems fairly symmetrical so far which is nice um, so we end up with a diamond uh, as you can see here we're going to then flip that one up turn around and flip the opposite side up if you then pinch the outsides and bring them together nice and crisp again you then be able to do that on the other side pinch the outsides together and you can start to see where we're going to get our crane from it's starting to take shape now and then 
this bottom one comes up, not all the way up, I reckon about two thirds of the way up. That's how I like to do it anyway. There you go. And the other side. Good stuff. Feel free to pause, rewind, and replay the video as many times as you need. We're now going to open this up, and you can see my thumb and uh, forefinger here um, quite intentionally placed there because then you're going to pinch the base of that, uh, I guess you could say it's the leg of the crane. Um, so again, thumb and forefinger on the other side, drag this out, and then pinch. Now you can see here we've got the makings of a crane. We just now need to pick which one's going to be the head. Um, I'd encourage you to pick the prettiest one, the one that's got the, the most crisp or the, the finest um, point. Um, and then if you pop your finger through there, you'll then be able to drag it down and then using that pinch grip again. Um, that's, uh, that's a crane. So. Um, I'd encourage you to you know, practice um, folding the cranes uh, before you expect to create anything that's perfect. Um, Ernest Hemingway said the first draft of everything is shit, so, and he was a writer, so he probably chose that word quite specifically. Um, so take your time, um, practice, happy to answer any questions if you want to comment below, uh, and um, yeah, just get into it. Bye for now, uh, but we will touch base soon. Uh, I'm going to post a second video about uh, how to gift an origami crane. Um, so uh, if you have any questions in the meantime or any other video requests, um, thank you, I, I should say, thank you to those who requested this video. I hope you find it useful. Uh, my name is Sam and this is Crane Blog Global.